Welcome back to the channel guys. Uh, today is another day on the Land Cruiser build and I would like to start on transmission shifter linkage so we can start figuring that out. Currently the Land Cruiser linkage arm that comes out of the bottom of the shift console uh, goes, goes to the passenger side and the 4L80E transmission out of the Chevy uh, needs that to be on the driver's side. So we gotta cut that apart and kind of shift it over. Um, I'd also like to work on the brake lines. I had to remove a lot of the factory hard lines in the engine bay to get my new motor mounts in. And so we gotta kind of rebuild those, order some parts for that. Um, maybe start looking into throttle cable. I'm not sure how it's gonna work out yet. And there's one more thing. Huh, so well, that'll just about do it for this morning. Maybe some heater coat, heater hose uh, stuff. See if I have all the lines to make that work. So, hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's do it. You can kind of see how the shifter has this arm that goes over and down out the passenger side. So we're gonna cut this apart and uh, see if we can't move that over. You can really see what's going on so shifter linkage comes out basically we need to come out this side there's my transmission i hope that comes out the same spot well that's a little frustrating guys so i thought this marks four-wheel drive TK's adapter would make it so the shifter comes out on the factory spot, which looks like is right about there. But this guy does not do that, not even a little bit. So, I'm not sure what's going on there. I'll have to do some research. So, actually, the trans transfer case i just did some research it's supposed to be sitting here and it is several inches too far backwards uh which is actually really frustrating because i was hoping to hoping to use the factory drive lines and everything and not have to make new drive lines so if that transfer case is sitting 10 inches further back that's gonna screw up everything and cost more money so I am a little frustrated, but I'm gonna see what I can do to figure this out, take some measurements. Hopefully you guys can see me. So basically, I measured the factory output or factory rear mating service of the factory transmission to the cross member mounts and that's inch and three quarter on this marks four wheel drive adapter it's inch and a half so that's close enough for the drive lines to compensate so i think i think the transfer case will be in the same spot they just didn't move the shifter base forward for some reason on the adapter so what i'm probably going to do is try to build a plate that shifts the whole thing forward so I don't have to mess with my shifter because I want the center console to be factory and the factory spot. And I just spent, you know, an hour or so making this nice new shifter boot because I destroyed the old one. And uh, I really like to use it. So we're gonna give that a go here. 
basically I'm gonna measure this here, measure the distance to those holes lengthwise and how far over, and then build a little adapter plate that does that for me. So here's what I got. This piece of aluminum, this shifter. So we're basically we're gonna make a template there and then six inches forward and one inch over and make drill another holes and basically this will act as a shifter relocation plate and then i will drill a bunch of holes in it trim it down to size bolt it in and hopefully that works <laughs> Okay, can you see that? So basically on this side, I put a big washer that fit, the shaft here kind of has flat spots on either side to index the shifter rod. So I put a washer that fit over all that to keep the whole rod from sliding out the end. And on this side, I just put the shifter right on there and cut a hole. So, I'm not sure how to seal that up, maybe do some dynamat and uh there you go <laughs> Okay, so here's what we got going. There's the back of the transmission. See the shifter linkage right there. So from full park to full low range, low gear selection is about four inches. On this one, I haven't measured it yet. But basically that's park all the way forward is second gear or low yeah second so basically i'm going to take this into the shop cut and modify it so it's just a straight shifter rod and that'll make it easier to have adjustment holes and whatnot <laughs> So now <clears throat> we're going to bolt this to the side of the transmission and 
measure out where four inches in the stroke is relation to the how high it is on this hole how far from this hole make a mark and then that would be where we drill a hole for our linkage and then once we have that we'll kind of make some linkage up and fine tune from there so this is what i got going this is my That's my shifter linkage. Um, that goes on the transmission, has lots of holes in it so I can adjust the ratio. And then under here, connects to there, I have this rod that I made. This goes factory transmission. And this also has a bunch of holes in it so I can adjust the ratio and try to get this thing dialed in as best I can. Well guys, I think that is the money shot right there. So basically what I did is down here, there's a lever that comes off of this pivot down here. And so it was like this. So when I shifted the lever back, it moved too much. So in between park and reverse was actual reverse. So what I did is I moved the lever so it sits neutrally in this position. So when I move the shift lever, <clears throat> it moves this much, which is a less distance because you're also going down. Whereas this, all your movements forward and back, like this, going like this. Maybe I'll see if I'm about doing a diagram or something. But, yeah, I need both hands here. So that's coming out of park, that's reverse. Neutral, drive, three, two, or drive, three, two. Kind of, it kind of works. I think it works good enough. Okay, I got the shifter linkage pretty well dialed in, so we're gonna shift gears and work on the intercooler piping. So, I got this done here, and I'll show you a clip of me welding that, and basically now what we're trying to do is come down here, through the core support into the radi or into the intercooler. Thank you. 
Okay, so we got the intercooler lines pretty well dialed in. Um, still waiting on my turbo, so I can't do the, um, basically from the turbo to the intercooler, I can only do about half of it, um, but I have it ran to here. So basically the turbo will sit, you know, up in the engine bay here and sit there and it'll come down under here to that line. Out of the core support through the intercooler out this side and then travels up and over into the intake manifold so i'm trying to figure out now is where to put this oil cooler um i think i'm going to try and get my winch plate kind of mounted in place and get my winch set in there then that'll help me know where i have room for the oil cooler okay guys that's gonna do it for this video uh on the next video we're going to finish the intercooler piping hopefully my turbo will be here and we can start doing the the hot side of the intercooler and maybe start on some wiring <laughs>